Hi everybody, I'm good to go and I hope you guys are too, because today I'm going to be talking about the Captain America Brave New World trailer. Now, it's pretty common knowledge that Marvel's been kind of fizzling out lately. I mean, after you dust the big bag, kill the main character, and turn Steve Rogers into Joe Biden, and now he's golfing for the presidency. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good... That's my Captain America. It's kind of to be expected. And they've been putting in a lot of work trying to get people's attention to come back. I mean, they had some good stuff like WandaVision and Loki, and Guardians 3 and Spider-Man 3, but they've had more flops like the Eternals and Thor 4 and the Marvels. And She-Hulk. Well, actually, I like She-Hulk just because she she throws it back. And I thought that shit was funny as well. But yesterday, they dropped the trailer for Captain America, The Brave New World. And whoo, it looks like classic good Marvel is back. I mean, look at that. Isaiah Bradley throwing people with his old man strength, jumping through windows. We got ourselves a new Falcon. Juan Carlo Esposito is in it. And everything that he touches is great. Thunderbolt Ross is now played by Harrison Ford. And it took me a second to realize that that was Harrison Ford and not the other guy, William Hurt, because they said, They said, uh, lose the mustache or lose the election. And I just took that at face value. It's like, man, you shaved your mustache, man. That does a lot. <laughs> and of course, Anthony Mackie is back at Sam Wilson. And oh, man, just, oh my gosh, just, I love Anthony Mackie. Look at that suit. Look at that shot. They know what they're doing. They're cooking. They got Sanji up in there. And the Red Hulk, dude. The Red Hulk teaser. I've been waiting for Red Hulk for years. For freaking years, dude. Oh my gosh. And he's so hot. I'm I'm not in like his powers. Not like. I mean. Anyway. And this movie trailer is garnishing a lot of attention, which is so good because I've been I've been super bummed out that Marvel is starting to fizzle out. At least in the movie aspect. Every single time um, a Marvel project gets announced, everybody's like, oh, it's probably gonna be trash, or I lost interest in certain game, blah, 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 blah. Stop. Keep watching the stuff, please. And I really hope that this movie is good, or there's no controversy, where Anthony Mackie beats up somebody, or some shit like that. Because if this movie does not do well, then DC is gonna swoop in, they're gonna soar with James Gunn's Superman. And you already know that he's cooking over there, bro. If Guy Gardner's in that movie, which was already announced, you know that movie's gonna slap. So, I hope this movie does well. But with Harrison Ford, Juan Carlo Esposito, and Anthony Mackie, this movie is destined for greatness. So, but that's just my opinion. But thanks for listening to me ramble. If you guys want to see me talk about more comic book movie trailers in the future, or do comic book movie trailer breakdowns, I can do that for you too. Just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you tell your family you love them. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now.